Good afternoon, Lynch just I'm John Susmini Trudeau, and welcome back to Fallout New California, where me and a band of Vikings are just up exploring the very north of the map today. I want to figure out what's going on, and oh, Bork actually scratches itself, even though it's a robot. Good boy. So yes, indeed, uh, we're up here at the minute, and uh, there's clearly some form of raider outpost over there. Together with something in the distance to the west, which I suspect might be the Euripides power plant. I didn't go to previously, and uh, something over there as well, the game's trying to draw attention to. I need to be a little bit on the careful side, though, because I have seen death claws up north, and, well, to be honest, I'm probably fine. I'm bringing a fairly large amount of people with me. In fact, actually, when I do show up to Dagger Point, I'm pretty sure I'm arriving with more men than the NCR actually sent themselves. So we're probably going to be just fine. Still, let's start off with probably the most dangerous area here, which is uh, the Raider base over in that direction. Uh, first up, can I actually get into this big building here? Because if I can, that might be a very, very nice sniping spot if it actually has a front door and... Did I just take gunfire? Are you guys killing something? Somebody- Oh no, no, they're- They're all trying to get into that one car. Okay, well done, you bloody geniuses. And the interesting thing about this base here is, uh, it doesn't actually seem to be a named location. There's no mark on the compass. There's something up in that direction, which actually is, yeah, pretty close by. But this is- Ah! It's finally appeared. Possibly the location itself is actually quite far inside the base. Okay. Well, in which case, yeah. Best thing I can probably do is uh, get up on the high ground. Because uh, I have got a lovely scoped hunting rifle these days. No one actually guarding the wall, obviously. And actually, any second now, Bork will probably run in and kill everyone by himself. Any sign of trouble? No, I could have sworn I saw. Yeah, I saw you over there. Just hold still for one second, please. There we go. Thought you'd go down nice and easy. Right, into uh, well, caution. Oh. Lovely. Okay, these aren't survivalists. They're vipers, except hang on. I think we've seen vipers in the survivalists. I think technically they're all part of one faction. This is just a flavor of survivalist. Anyone else interested in coming outside? <laughs> Not yet, but apparently I'm the camera of the Mojave. Yeah, I don't actually have the Vault 13 canteen on me, but I think the game might be, like, assuming I do somehow. So that's probably how I ended up with that. This is actually the Mission Mall. Okay, head around here. Because, yeah, from up here, I can actually see what's going on inside. So, uh, big car park, possibly an interior. And by the way, hello over there. You can just quietly be taken. Now, when I say quietly, I've just blown your limbs off and you're standing in the middle of the car park. So, I feel like some other people are going to figure out something's going on here. Like all of those people. They figured it out. Though, it's not going to do them a huge amount of good, to be honest. Yeah, because now I'm just going to start picking them off one by one. Oh, somebody's actually figured out where I am. Started returning fire. But honestly, that's fine. One of you's already wounded and... Do not walk in front of the person with a sniper rifle when they're actually aiming it. Yeah, just blowing these bastards apart. And you have just... Did you start to take off a mask? That's interesting. Just, yeah, hold still. I'm sure that shield's going to do you a huge amount of good work right there. You know what, lads? I think it's time for us to just actually go in at this point. We've done enough good work, though. Ooh, have we got a named person? Do we have... Venom, a named character. Oh, Bork's already gone in. Of course, Bork's already gone in. But any chance, are you actually... Oh, yeah, knocked down already. Right, if you're a named character, you're like Psycho Watts' face. And oh, dear. Bork? I'm so sorry. I think I just and stayed back you. Ah, I'm guessing you did poison with every hit. Gotcha. Right, well, no trouble so far, and that'd be why no one was up inside that little watchtower, because they physically had no way of actually getting over there, I see. Though, actually, hang on, is there... Is there someone... Wait, what? Who did you just kill? Was there a person inside that wall? Who's inside that wall now? Who's... Is that one of mine inside the wall? I think one of mine is now glitching inside a wall. Well done, you stupid bastards. Who gave Jen a missile launcher? I never gave Jen a missile launcher, and this strikes me as a bad idea, but 
You know what? She does look pretty badass with it. Fine, carry on. So, big out-of-town shopping district here. Any chance we can go inside any of it? No, that's not actually open. What's this place? Oh, Cazadors. Cazadors fighting rad scorpions, in fact. No need to get involved there. Those two can just be dicks to each other. And I'll gladly help myself to any ammo floating around. This looks like it might be a door I can actually use, though. One of these. No, actually, the opposite. This door isn't actually an openable door. It's also a door that doesn't actually seem to exist. So, that's interesting. Let's just pretend we didn't see that. Oh, this is cute, though. A dumpster on its side being used as a sort of isolation box. That's a nice little touch. Any chance we can go inside any of this? No, but we can go straight through it. But weirdly, not outside of this building. <laughs> can I jump over? No, this wall is here. Sort of. So, okay, how about we just leave this area behind? This is a very silly place. Handful more raiders over there. But more importantly, we've actually got gunfire beyond those gates. Hello! Judge just run in this direction. No, no you don't. No you flippin' don't. Don't you try and pull out a flippin' missile launcher on me. You can just go down, thank you. Yeah, that seems to be a bit more in this direction. A bit more of a housing estate or something? I'm not sure. Alright, let's just actually nip this way because uh, there's definitely something to the east here. Unless, of course, that's actually... Hang on, check the map here. No, that's not going to be Athens Tech Quarry. There's too much impassable terrain between me and there. Must be something off in this direction. Which appears to be, yeah, Cazador and Scorpion territory. Shouldn't be a big deal. Then we'll check out the housing estate, see if there's any buildings that we can actually go inside. But being unmarked, not sure what we'll actually find there. Ooh. Will we find a big doom cave? I like a doom cave. Well, I like a doom cave when I've got like 16 people traveling with me. Then it's fine. Cazador goes down. Pick up Bug Stomper 1 from a trouble. And anything else? Seems to be okay for now. Go over to service rifle and level up two. Right, running out of things to actually boost here. Because, yeah, I've got a weirdly large number of skill points for level 13. Just because this game is filled with perks that actually just give you skill point boosts. So, uh, I have a lot of that. Sneak is probably not bad. Speech, just in case. Actually, no, I'll give myself even more speech. Just so I can actually boost that towards max by the end of the game. Just in case the speech 100 check comes out of flipping nowhere. Yeah, that'll do. Ooh, that's a well-designed cave, though. It looks pretty bloody sinister. Athens Cavern. Ooh. Actually, I'm feeling like this might be the sort of place that, yeah, the raiders might have sent me. And it could potentially be a backdoor into Athens. Okay. You know what? I've taken care of Athens by myself before. I've blown up flipping super mutant behemoths. Let's flipping go, action team. Nothing too dramatic so far. Someone's left some C4 here. And loads more C4. Okay. Let me go take in all of that. And a detonator. Alright, well if nothing else, that could be very useful down the line. If I could just reverse pickpocket that on somebody and detonate that. Good way of killing some folks. But I suspect that might actually be for blowing up some form of plot wall further down inside this cavern. Or possibly the NCR will send me here when it's time to actually take out the raiders. They might actually say, hey, go to Athens Cave. And then like, you know, oh, dead people. They might say, yeah, come here, then blow up a back entrance and storm it from below. That makes sense, especially as uh, there are NCR here. Okay, interesting. And I'll take a service rifle to improve my own too, thank you. All right, this place is starting to branch off here, so... The big question, who actually murdered those NCR sorts? Are there animals in this cave? Are we talking survivalists here? And Oh, we're going into rads, actually. And Ooh, hello. Was that like an officer ghoul down there? I think it might have been. But I'll do myself some nice radics if I've got some. Yes, yes, I do. Hello down there, lads. You can just go down and... There we go. Very, very nice indeed. He dies. Uh, help myself to some ammo. Right. Could we be heading down into... Ah! Uranium mine. Yes, because that's what was being mined at the actual pit. Nothing I can do here, though. Yeah, maybe during the right story mission I might be able to actually interact with that rock. 
plant the C4, blow it up, diddly diddly d. Let's just keep an eye on what's going on here. None of the rest of you actually get Radix, by the way. The Radix is for me. Nothing much so far, just a handful more ghouls. So that's fine. We'll just headshot you bastards. Lovely. I like how I actually point my gun straight through my sewer thing. That's pretty good. <laughs> right, you guys. Uh, yeah, just keep me nice and safe. What do we have here? Oh, hello. Blood, helmets. Right. So these are NCR troopers that have got ghoulified. And unfortunately, this whole area is... Uh, a bit of a flipping maze. Possibly I'm supposed to be following... Oh dear, there's... Hello. There's a big rock. Can I push the rock? Push the rock, push the, push the rock. Push the rock, push the... Push the rock. It's clearly sort of moving. Push the... Push... Push the rock. Push... Okay, does anyone have a better solution than this? Oh, we got it! We got it! And it didn't actually hit anything because it just fell straight down. But on the plus side, now everyone else is... Jen, do not... No! Jen! Jen, do not! Jen! Whatever you're planning to do, do not do it in a confined cave. Okay, I think if I just carry on around here, this brings me back to... Yeah, that brings me back to the original little kind of junction I got to. So now we've looped back around over here. So it's not just continually dividing up more and more and more. It's also reconverging. So... Okay, big cave. Definitely want to check out big cave, yes. So yeah, all the ghouls down here, definitely NCR. Which would imply the NCR, I would guess, were planning to maybe... Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't realise you guys were here. Would you guys like to handle that for me? <laughs> They're just ghouls. You guys can take care of this. Yeah, it feels to me like the NCR probably tried to... Maybe undermine the quarry, deal with the survivalists by causing their quarry to, like, collapse in on itself. That kind of makes sense. And then, no, I didn't mean to chat to you. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, that vaguely makes sense. But unfortunately, they didn't count on, uh, yeah, all of the rads. Uh, meaning that uh, they all got a little bit on the ghoulified side. Yes. Though I'm feeling like this rock might be for something yet. I'm just going to push it down into this next cavern. So, guys, guys, help me help me with the rock. Help me with the rock. There we go. The rock is coming with us. It's my new companion. So, we'll follow the rock in a second. First, just check the rest of the room here. Make sure we've not got anything else. No, I think all the rest of this is... No, there's nothing else here. Right, the only way to go down is down here. So, the rock's coming with us, guys. And... Or maybe it's not, because the rock is... Is the rock... Okay, the rock is still there. It was just a little bit on the invisible side. All right. I don't know whether we're actually dealing with, like, an old Pokemon-style flipping rock-pushing puzzle here. We might be. I'm not sure. Well, it's not just the NCR here. There's uh, a Brahmin. Suggesting... Well, the NCR might have used a Brahmin, but could be traders down here as well. Oh yeah, this actually was an NCR Brahmin because it's got NCR weaponry and armour on board. So, uh, this was a convoy potentially trying to carry weapons, supplies and whatever underground. Yeah, I'm sticking with what I originally thought here. I think this was an attempt by the NCR to potentially either sneak into the back of Athens Tech Quarry or potentially... Ooh. Okay, we might be going into late lurks here. Yep, we're into water territory now, and in addition, plenty more flipping ghouls. So I'm glad I brought literally half of the entirety of the Californian population with me to help out, and I've taken rad poisoning. Not for long, I haven't, thank you. All right, couple of things at the end here. One, little underwater area, no way forward, but a necro tribe. Okay. Whatever that is precisely. Ah, human flesh. Okay, that's interesting. But, hazmat gas mask. Probably worth taking, just in case of emerges. Bork, don't, don't be down here, Bork. There's no point you being down here. And potentially more of interest. This looks like this might lead somewhere good. Where exactly are we going? Oh, that's... It's just a black wall. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay, I feel like I've stumbled into somebody else's plot here. Like, 
I feel like either I'm going to be asked to come back here later, at which point this will do something, or this is a different faction's plot. Either of the above. Probably best we just head back upstairs, lads. Alright, action team. Next stop, probably, that little housing estate. Couple of rad scorpions between us and there, but honestly, not going to be too much of a problem. Oh, and as it turns out, this is... Quite a big place, actually, yes. Now, mostly ruins, but a fair few standing houses too. Curious whether, yeah, these have got interiors and if they've actually got stories. Because uh, if so, what is this place? It doesn't appear to have a name. So, all right, jump around here. Oh, hello! Sorry, you are apparently survivalists. Okay, it's another raider camp. Though I say that, we've run into this one guy at the door here. Other than that, deathly quiet. This doesn't feel like a raider camp. It's not fortified. Fine, check the houses. Uh, see if there's anything we can do here. Mission Palms. Okay, we got a name at least. Well, the signs of habitation here are very limited. Technically... There is actually a, yeah, my house here. There's a little bit of food in the kitchen, some drugs upstairs. A basement with nothing in it, with the exception of this ladder. Which I can open and close. Which isn't really how a ladder works, to be honest. But, oh, okay. Um, is this, are we sure that's how ladders work? Well, okay, if the basement of this place has a little hatch and a ladder, then it would logically come up here, because it was a ladder going to a hatch up, but there isn't. Possibly this bit's still in development, I'm not sure. Next house round, same thing again. A ladder that opens and closes, with a hatch that doesn't go anywhere, and physically can't go anywhere, because yeah, this will be out the back of the house in the backyard. Only nice thing about this place is uh, Fat Man Launchers, uh, which will be leaving because they don't actually come with ammo and I'm sure as bloody hell not entrusting any of my companions with those. Ah, here's interesting though. So just to the north of the estate, there's actually a flag flying and some form of actual named location. Now by any chance are you... All right. I don't see anything that seems dangerous here. But if this is actually a named area with a flag... Oh. Yeah, I see ya. I see you over there. The problem is, I can't actually be sure those are... Ah! I was about to say I can't be sure they're bad. Look at the flag, John. That's not nice people. Alright? That's 100% not nice people. So, I think it's okay to blow off all their limbs. Okay, uh, Jen, at this point, it would be A-OK -okay for you to use your missile launcher. If you feel like it, go right ahead. Well, obviously, it's Bork that's gonna do all the heavy lifting, as usual. Oh, I think Jen did actually decide to fire there. And this is a- oh! Did that just say Vault Viking Raider? Are these- uh-oh! Are these Vault Dwellers? Have I just declared some war on some Vault Vikings? Because if so, I've accidentally just started wiping out the most awesome sounding faction in all of Fallout history. No, the game very much says Raider Trailer Park here. No mention of Vault Dwellers. I'm not seeing any Vault Suits. I think everything's fine. Here we go. Vault Viking Elite. So, Vault 37 Shield. Yeah, Vault 37 somewhere, but... Maybe it opened long ago, and at this point all that's left is a, a vague memory of it and some bastards who are basically just raiders. That'd be a bit of a shame. Still, this seems interesting. Strategic nuclear moose, and God said let them have beer. Okay, cell door to the wasted space bar and grill. Let's just go over to something uh, a little bit more appropriate for close quarters in case there's anyone still alive inside. And as it turns out, no, we're, oh, hang on, you're not part of the team, hello, who are you? Howdy. She's just, she's just saying howdy. Okay, is anyone else suspicious of this woman? No, not at all. 
Well, she hasn't attacked us, so that means she's probably pretty damn smart, actually, next to everyone else we've run into. Ooh, but I'll say, one bobblehead, which we're not allowed to take for some reason. Ooh, I'll take a power armor manual, though, but not that bobblehead. Right, apparently there's hey there. a power armor manual just sitting on the bottom shelf of this random bar. All right, then. Do I consume this? And there we go. Now I can put on power armor. Marvelous. That's a very, very odd spot indeed for power armor training, but uh-oh. That looks distinctly... That looks very much like, yeah, death claws. Figured as much. We probably don't want trouble with... No, we don't want trouble with three death claws. Most definitely not. How far are we versus the edge of the map, by the way? Actually, it does look like there's a fair bit more. If I were to keep going north in that sort of a direction in particular. Oh. You know what, guys? I think we can actually handle a death claw. Like, if it's only one, potentially. Right, fall back. Fall back and let it just come to us. All right. Now... I appreciate some of you may be looking at what I've just decided to do and thought, oh, that's a Deathclaw Mother. That's actually pretty bad. Yes, I'm going to go over to Armor Piercing, actually. Right, and... Oh, dear. What's that? What's that? Weren't expecting people to have Armor Piercing, were you? No. I figured you might not be. Down you go, you stupid bastard. How much of my team is dead? Are you people dead or just unconscious? I'm not written oh, out at all. That hurt. Oh, good. Everyone's fine as it turns out. Right, now the other lads over there, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they are not Deathclaw Mothers. They're just like normal Deathclaw, so this should be much easier this time. Oh, yeah, young Deathclaws. Nothing to worry about. Right, guys, charge. We're going up to Deathclaw Peak. Oh, has someone spotted the Deathclaw? Oh, of course it was bought. Oh, yeah, you guys are so Screwed. Spot on. Though then again, yeah. There's something up here. We are way up at the top of the map right now. This isn't even marked stuff. But someone's made the effort to slap down a building up here. And that means I'm going to make the effort to go explore the damn thing. Here we go. A couple of burnt out buildings over there. But this looks like an actual real building. And like at least 20% of a car by volume, and ah, tragically, uh, the sand has already claimed her. No way we're getting that back out. Still, it does feel like the map goes, yeah, weirdly, up a little bit further here than it does anywhere else, which makes me think if I were to follow this road into that indent, there's possibly something here. Oh yeah, there's something up here. Something at the end of the world. Looks like it might just be a gas station, but... Rifles out, folks. Rifles flipping out. I don't see movement, but I do see multiple buildings. All right, lads, we're going in. And this is officially Barstow. Okay. I mean, wouldn't be hoping for too much to say this place might be friendly. Because it's right on the road that I believe was the road north, the I-15, which is a big important NCR road. Meaning potentially this place is safe and occupied by the NCR. I mean, I don't see anything here at all. Some nice truck assets. They're kind of nice. Garage. That is... doesn't do anything. Officially you're supposed to be able to open it, but you can't. Little store off to one side. There's there's a lot of effort been put up here for nothing to exist. An accessible door. And yeah, it's got a name. It's got a unique name like it's a town. And this is plenty big enough to be a small settlement by fallout rules. I mean, it's even got a special little, yeah, a food area. All of that business, though. I think that asset might actually be from... Oh, are you guys firing at something? Oh, it's ghouls. That's a shame. Ooh, but you're a burning one. Whatever one of those is precisely. Like a glowing one, but you're on fire, I suppose. Darn. Potentially this was once a town, but the ghouls have already... Ooh, there's an interior. I've found a flipping interior. Right. What do we have 
going on here? Oh, sweet rolls! Yes, I have found the true treasure. Yeah, this society was doing well at one point. Variety of meats, booze, fruits and veg. Yeah, these guys were doing all right for themselves. Wonder what happened to them. Well, they've also got a bar that looks, yeah, suspiciously like a mirror universe version of Good Springs. But again, no one actually here. And no indication of what actually happened to these people. Aside from just potentially ghoulification, I suppose. Schematics for the rocket launcher, though. That's always nice to have. Together with, yeah, inside the gun store, a whole bunch of... Rarer types of ammo. Armor piercing. That's very, very nice indeed. High explosive for grenades. And mini nukes. Okay. This is... Oh, wow. Okay. A giant pile of missiles. Jen, how would you like a giant pile of missiles? And on top of that, giant piles of, yes, yeah, shotgun ammo. Various other forms of armor piercing. Valuable guns, hunting revolvers. Uh, yeah, honestly, even if there's no one here, the trip's been worth it just for some very, very valuable ammo. Well, there's no categorical proof one way or the other, but there is a little, uh, yeah, drug thing over there. And, ooh, hello. Hang on, we'll deal with that in a second. That's new. Yeah, there's a drug den up here, which is all very smoky and hazy, which has got a whole bunch of... Uh, Unusual ingredients, including spore plant pods and also casador eggs. I'm starting to wonder whether what happened here is uh, these guys were experimenting with drugs involving irradiated creatures uh, and that's what ultimately killed them. And apparently my first laboratory can brew a new compound which should take about a day and I could detoxify myself, which I guess means get rid of addictions uh, but I don't have any of them, so that's fine. Yeah, no proof, but if I had to take a guess what had happened to this place, I'd say uh, drugs cut with something very, very dodgy indeed. Right, following morning, let's start heading, yes, yeah, southwest. I need to uh, cut across, because there was something in the distance to the west that looked like it was uh, a control tower. Potentially an airport, but I know that somewhere in this part of the world there is the Euripides power plant, so uh, it might be part of the power plant too. Right, let's just get up top here, have a little looksy round, and uh, I'm also taking, uh, yeah, rads, which is a bit odd. Can't see anything else in this part of the world with the exception of, uh, yeah, that control tower. And I can't see anything else with the sandstorm that's just swept in. So, uh, possibly Euripides, uh, possibly airport, and possibly something bad in the meantime. Yeah, I see you guys down there. Hello, how bad are you? I'm going to say moderately bad, yes. Did you really what you have got. to shoot him like that? Oh, I'm starting to wonder if I'm shooting the wrong people here, because Eric's suggesting that what I'm doing is wrong. He's saying, why did I have to shoot them? Um, well, we've kind of started now, so, uh-oh, Robotnik Merchant. Oh, no! Oh, oh, dear. Right, apparently, those guys weren't actually bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right, well, now I feel... Wait, hang on, that one... That one was an actual raider. That guy is a viper. So there were... Hang on, were you two guys, like, traders... And these three over there, vipers. Possibly. Hang on, now I'm just curious what the hell was going on here. Alright, new rule. We don't murder anybody until we have a positive ID on who they are and whether we're supposed to be murdering them. Because it's possible I just murdered the descendants of Vault 37 at that previous camp and I didn't even really mean to. Yes, confirmed. The guys on the left, Robotnik Merchants. The guys over there, however, I feel like you actually are raiders. But under the circumstances, I'd like to check first. And also, there's a big Megaton bomb over there. Lovely. Right, wait, wait. Yes, confirmed. Raiders. Okay, now those guys, them, we're allowed to murder. Okay, that's legit. 
Oh, bloody hell, I think that was Jen right there. Good work, Jen. Right, these guys taken care of. I'm assuming the... Okay, are you attacking the merchants right now? Why are you attacking the merchants? Who was that over there? Who did you just murder? Was that a... Please tell me we're not actually at war with the... Okay, why are we attacking the merchants? Because I didn't attack the merchants that time. Jen, do not point that thing at me. Right. Okay. Third time's a charm. This time we're going to come down and we're going to chat to these people. And then, only then, will we take out the vipers. Because it's possible they're friends or something. Oh, bloody hell, there's a big old pile of them. Including sentry bots. Hello. There's, there's loads of them. Okay, how many of these people are friendly? That explosive merchant isn't friendly. Oh, hang on, this is... Right, this is totally 100% legitimate. The targets I was picking off, this is legit. This is a survivalist camp. It's just, there's one, and precisely one, friendly merchant in the middle of them. But I suspect I won't be able to do any business with him. Because if I kill his friends, he comes for me. Right, okay. Lads, be ready for trouble here. Jen, get that flipping missile launcher ready. I'm going to see if I can actually speak to the Robotnik merchant. Soda array salvage op and... Yeah. No. No, I feel like this is not going to fly. And Jen, did you just miss the ground with your missile? Because I feel like... No, it finally actually landed. Spot on. And just get up to that sentry bar. Armor piercing will do the job there. Lovely. Right. I'm very sorry we had to kill all of you. All right? It was very unfortunate. 99. That's very frustrating. Right. Take a tiny bit of extra... Yeah, 98 is fine. And sneak 56 too. Spot on. Right. What do we want to do now? Ah, grunt might be interesting. Yeah, 25% more damage with 9mm and 45 auto pistols together with service rifles. Yeah, go on then, why not? I am actually using my service rifle a fair bit at the minute, and uh, I'm so sorry we had to kill absolutely all of you. Right, bit of loot on all the corpses there, but... Bigger question though, aha! It is an airport. So we got ourselves a crashed plane right here. Alright then, in which case, where exactly is Euripides? Because I still haven't come across that, and also, why is this plane so radioactive? I don't know. Rice Army Airfield. For some reason, that plane was just really radioactive. Were planes in the Fallout universe powered by... Well, I guess they were powered by nuclear power, given everything was powered by nuclear power, including just day-to-day -day cars. Sure. And yet more flipping Viper elites and diddly diddly d. So, fork. No. There we go. Oh, hang on. Are you sick? No, you've just got some face paint on. Sorry, I thought you were sick. And just finish off a few more of you bastards occupying this here airport. Down you go. Bork finishes off the other. Job done. Including, yeah, crashed vertebrates and planes. All sorts of business. Oh, blimey. Plus seven. Hang on. Let's get some flipping radex on here. This place is apparently ludicrously radioactive. Right. What is going on in this part of the world that makes this place so... So what's that? Is that... Okay. Bark scorpion hunter. Right. Airport with no door. Was it just that crash plane? Was that making all of the rads? That might have been making all of the rads. No. No way into any of this business either. Though we do have a glowing green thing over there. Everybody loves a glowing green thing. Yeah, this seems pretty radioactive. Ah, that'll be the source of the radiation then. Planes dropped out of the sky. But like, you know, with their bombs are still aboard. So we can just go over to this. Can we drink this? Oh, I can't drink this. Boo. I can at least... Oh, can I jump on top of it? Yay, I can sit on top of the bomb. Hooray for me. So, okay. That explains the radiation. By the way, what's that? Ooh, more grenades. I guess we'll be taking them too. And sadly, we cannot get inside the plane. But yeah, if you're actually using a grenade launcher, there are 10 million grenades just scattered here. By the airport. That's nice. Oh, and hello. Do we actually have a giant spider down there? Yeah, obviously we knew this game had spider assets. And it looks like we found another one. Hello down there, giant spider. That was indeed a giant tarantula. 
Though there's still a fair bit of red on the map, so... Hello, is that a... No, that's not a person. That's actually just a telephone pole. There might be some more spiders around here. In fact, there might be a cave of spiders. Because it would appear there's some form of thing in this part of the world, but I don't see... I don't see it. Why is there red on the compass right now? Lads, down into the Valley of the Spiders. We need to figure out what's going on here. Ooh, snake bite gulch. Oh, snakes! That'd be why. Oh, I don't like the snakes. Right, guys, do you want to... Is no one else interested in the snakes? Guys, look, look, the snakes. There's, there's a snake. Okay, need to... Oh, it's coming for me, guys! Deal with the snakes! Okay, so until the snake attacks me, those guys are not interested in... How did I just miss the snake? Snake. Snake. That snake's flying. Look at its shadow. That's okay. This snake is just... There we go. Right. That... How... How am I missing the snake? This is... Okay, let's just ignore that snake. Right, so this is just where the snakes live, which probably means I shouldn't actually just try and walk through it. Because I know what's here, and it's a giant pile of snakes, and some of them are slightly hard to hit, because, you know, they're long and thin. Right, let's just get back up onto the road here. I suspect that's... Hang on, that's... Yes, that's bad things. And they're throwing grenades at me too. Everything's fine. Right, now that was less fine. That was one crippled arm. Guys, get out of the way. There we go. And... Yep, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. What else have we got here? We got something to the south, something to the north. Fine, let's start with the north and we'll start making our way back south again. Yep, this mark is just the bridge. We've already seen the bridge. It doesn't look like anyone lives up on it. So, uh, happy to just leave that be. Ah, as we head down the road back towards the south, however, one more thing emerges from the mist. A fairly large structure here, which I can't help but notice. Yeah, this is going to be Euripides. Now... Do not attack this place because I was specifically told, uh, hey, you might find some people here that you're going to be super friendly with. So this could be a different raider faction. Admittedly, that guy looks a bit angry, as does that guy. But I was told there might be... Oh, hello. There's... There's something going on here that doesn't involve me. Hello? Yeah? Who are you guys precisely, and what are you doing? Because somebody is fighting somebody. Hang on. Stay out of this for the time being. Once I say stay out of this, I'd like to know who those guys are before we commit one way or the other. So some of you have already been badly damaged. Well, you're attacking me. If you're actively attacking, then I don't feel... Oh, blimey, you just took his head off with a bloody spear. Well done. Right, uh, I think it's time for... Okay, start with the flipping missiles. I can't actually aim while you're doing that. Right, big old pile of road bandits. Thankfully, yeah, Bork does a marvellous job just drawing their attention while the rest of us just get shots in from a distance. So, this is very, very manageable. And now Bork's just heading in to finish him off. Now, who were those other bandits that showed up a second ago? And one bullet to the leg for you. And down you go. I think that might be... Not quite the last of the road bandits, but we're getting into the last... Ooh! Hello! Glowing infected troubles. Oh, I thought we dealt with that plague, but possibly not. Okay, back to hidden here, but... You were a road bandit too. Who are those people that swung in and started attacking? And yeah, Euripides' power. Not sure if I'll be allowed to actually fix up this place now, but... Can't open that door does feel in a way like, you know, if I were to restore power from Euripides, uh, then at that point Union City would have like twice as much power as it needs. So I'm just future proofing and... Hello? Right. Are you Legion buddy chance? Because you look slightly Legion-y. Hello there. Hello? You interested in, in saying hello? Oh no, you're she! Right, okay. So they're not willing to chat. And unfortunately, neither is she, no pun intended. Uh, yeah. So I'm guessing we're supposed to have a chat with you, 
And you're supposed to be like a faction who's allied with, what's his name, Paul Duval. But for some reason that's not triggering because, yeah, I'm speaking to you outside of the quest. Can I have all your explosives, by the way? Is that alright? Yep, you don't seem to mind that too much. Yep, help myself to explosives. Throw an electrical switch here. And I have saved Union City twice flipping over. See, I'm guessing the deal is supposed to be... You come here, you speak to her, and then she says, Oh no, more of them! And then like 10 million show up, which is why the game's giving you spears, explosives, there's a turret over there, ammo dotted about. Yeah, so whatever your preferred style of fighting, you can try and survive against the waves. Gotcha. But it doesn't seem to be happening on this occasion because, uh, yeah, Kiva has no interest in speaking to me. Which is a shame, because she's got some cool eye makeup. Well, in that case... I don't see anything further to the south. I think that might actually be the outskirts of uh, Union or the farm territory over there. So I think I've already been there. There's like one thing over there, but... Hang on. Yeah, right in this direction. I don't see anything interesting myself. Sometimes, yeah, just a point on the road is officially marked. That's just... Ah, it'll be that camp there. So that'll just be a raider camp. That's not a big deal at all. Yeah. Probably time we crack on with the main plot. I feel like I've got, you know, enough people following me around at this point. Now we've rescued my action team. Time to go and actually get them to do something useful. To Fort Dagger Point we go. And to be precise, yeah, that's Dagger Point. That's where the team is. So uh, if I actually go to the junction and just follow the road along, that should lead me in the right direction. Beautiful. Ah, yes, of course, and we're back in this part of the world. The town I just kind of blundered into and was immediately captured because I walked into a raider town despite being specifically warned about raiders because I'm a bloody genius like that. Right, so this road should be taking me in the right direction. Though then again, something to watch out here. Yeah, all of that fighting. I am, you know, a little bit on the low side in terms of ammo right now. And also, hang on. If Fort Dagger Point is officially 18 miles in the scaled down Fallout universe, then that means uh, I should pass Radar Point and Stonehead Monument on the way, because they're less far away than Dagger Point is. Okay, interesting. Keep an eye out for Radar Point and a giant stone head. You know what, I'm going back over to the 10mm for the time being. I'm going to try and preserve ammo from a service rifle, because now I've taken Grunt, that's actually even more powerful. So... Uh, Best thing will be to save that, because I suspect bad stuff's going on inside Dagger Point. Specifically, yeah, it's super mutants, it's gotta be. FEV outbreaks, people starting to go green, it's the only thing that makes sense. And here we go. That, I'm guessing, might be Radar Point. I'm not really sure what a radar station looks like, but if you ask me to draw one, I'd probably say a building with, like, a big dish on the top. Now, that's not a big dish, that's a big fork. But that's somewhat similar, so I guess we'll just go and have a little look -see. Well, whatever it is, it definitely is actually a named location. And I'm guessing the name of the location is Radar Point, because that was literally written on a sign. So, hello, lads. Who lives here, precisely? Bear in mind, though, we're actually very close by to tribal territory. It could be friendlies, because it could be the tribals of Ziabula. So, don't open fire on anything that moves immediately. Yep, radar points. Story checks out versus the signs. No sign of anything yet. Okay, any chance there's a way in? And, okay, garage door. Nope, it's one of those garage doors that just... Opens and closes, but doesn't do anything. There's a lot of those doors inside this mod. Ooh, a giant dish! I knew there ought to be a giant dish. I wasn't wrong. Nope, no in as far as I can tell. That door is barred up and that ladder is deliberately broken. So you cannot get up there. Fine, just a nice little thing floating around on top of the hill. Just provide a bit of flavour. In which case, I'm guessing that over there in the distance... That'll be the outskirts of the defences of Dagger Point. So, I'm just going to Skyrim my way down the cliff here. And there we go. Hopefully, the rest of the team will... Oh, well done, lads. Well, well done, half of you. Well done to Bork, to Alpha, and to Ben. You guys did a competent job. Everyone else just had to teleport to me. That's very lazy. 
Now, let's just skirt around in that direction. Yeah, there's clearly a tower of some description. That's probably where we're actually rendezvousing with those guys. Uh, for that, however, there's something to the southeast. But... Beggar's, Ca Beggar's Canyon. Right, so that's actually the name of the, uh, the canyon in Star Wars. So... Alright. Are we looking at Womp Rats, perhaps? Well, there's a little ramp that leads up onto here, but... I don't see what's actually up here. Alright, nothing much as best as I can tell. And something in the distance over there. But that's just tribal territory, so that should just be a tribal, because that is very close to Ziabula. Fine, leave that be. That's just a cut through between the area Dagger Point's in and the area the tribals are in, which I'm guessing uh, this whole area is for as well. So yeah, probably that's just where some more infected tribals are if it is an enemy, just in case you approach from that angle. And by the way, I think my team is... No, my team's not firing. My team isn't firing, but... Someone's firing. Are the NCR firing? There's a... Oh, uh-oh. There's, there's a sentry bot over there. Guys, 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 guys. No, no, no. Let's just go over to uh, some nice armor piercing. Yeah, armor piercing. That'll do the job. Screw you. Screw you. And it's... It decided to hide in the grass. Bloody stealthy right there. Well, I've got some sneak attack criticals, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, go over to armor piercing. Sentry bots are no flipping joke. Good. I already did enough damage to it. Life is good. Though there's something else going on here. Hang on. Go back to the 10 millimeter. All right. If this is just basic lads, uh, 10 millimeter is uh, fine. Who are you guys? Yeah, it's just survivors. Oh, a training camp. Lardy flipping da. Okay, possibly the 10 millimeters not quite doing the job these days. Oh, we got loads of robots, actually. Hang on. That's, yeah, quite a few robots. Do I have any pulse grenades by any chance? No, plasma grenade, though. Right, if you guys all just want to hang out over there, I'm happy to just toss some grenades at you. There we flipping go. More grenades down there. That did literally nothing. Right, against that many robots, I feel like it's shotgun time. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is fine. Especially as, and stay back, works against sentry bots. Boom, 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 boom. Have fun never getting up again in your life. And now we can just close in and start hitting it with an axe. And stay back was so overpowered. It was beautiful. But no offense, the point that gives you stagger and not back in Fallout is always the overpowered one. Because yeah, in Fallout 76, Enforcer was the stupidly, ludicrously too powerful perk. Excuse me. Excuse flipping me. No, you flipping don't. You know, this raises the interesting question. How exactly did the NCR convoy get past this place without engaging it? Because it's pretty much straight on the route. Well, I guess maybe they could have looped through the hills, I suppose. Right, barracks in this place. You can also go inside. Just a handful of raiders. So yeah, I'm guessing those were old military robots that were supposed to be reprogrammed to serve the raiders. That's cute. Oh, and another level up. Bloody fat these days. Right, max out the speech. That's fine. Is there anything else I actually need to get up? Medicine being a bit high never hurts. Ditto sneak and also, yeah, now they're both at 60, which is a pleasantly round number job done. Right, that's about the lot as far as I can tell at the military camp. Just, yeah, those robots and a handful of stragglers inside the barracks themselves. So, time to go and link up with the NCR, who, because I passed that luck check, I assume are just fine, even though I decided to ignore them. Here we go. This should be them straight ahead. Dagger points actually in that direction. So, uh, not sure what these here walls are. Could be anything, actually. But for the time being, even more robots. That's absolutely fine. Uh, guys, let them fight it out. Just let them fight it out. It's fine. There you see. Just let them weaken each other. Pick off the winner. Job done. And Ooh. Apparently, I'm already at the Fort Dagger Point gate. Okay. Uh, where's the NCR? And uh, what precisely do you think I'm supposed to be fighting on my way in? Like, who's got this place occupied right now? Because I'm convinced super mutants. But presumably not super mutants right this second. Because if it was, you'd flipping know about it, right? And hello there, my good man. All right, we made it this far. Looks like we've still got enough Brahmin to make the run, too. 
I think we should be careful through here. These old buildings are falling apart, and who knows what calls the rubble home. We don't have time to scout it out. Let's just make it for the gates, and then get inside. This is a terrible, terrible plan. Yeah, very, very good idea. Scoutmaster of Perception 6, we should 100% scout it out first. If you say so, have at it. We'll wait here until you get back. Try to stay out of trouble and come get us when you're ready. At the bare minimum, I'd like to see what we're fighting and potentially, you know, deal with the worst of it before the actual vulnerable Brahmin start heading in. Alright. This is... Ah, I see scorpions over there. Hop up on top of here for the time being. What have we got? What do we have? That is... Uh, is that just a bloke fly over there? No! That's actually one of the little iBots fighting on this occasion. Random buildings, no doors. So no way in. Doesn't actually seem that bad. And I'm guessing... That over there, that control tower, part of Dagger Point. Alright, lads. Forwards. Seems okay for now, but I'm expecting to run into big green nasties sooner rather than later. And actually, no. Those aren't combat iBots, they're Enclave iBots. That means that they're not hostile right now, but you never flip a no, do ya? Alright. More rocks. I think I saw a... Uh... I swear I saw a rad scorpion around here. Yeah? Hello over there. Thought I saw you. Right, you're dead. Good. Just, you know, get some of the resistance out of the way. Warehouse over there. No sign of movement. These are iBots. No reason to cause trouble with them yet. Hello. No interest in chatting. Okay. Let's just... Keep on keeping on here, and uh, more robots. Yeah, I'm just going to clear these guys out. I'm just going to deal with these guys uh, before the NCR push in. All right, because that's sensible. And uh, yeah, another yellow tick on the compass. More iBots. The Enclave are watching. And I'm now suspicious. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not Super Mutants. Maybe it's the... Oh, hello over there. Right, we seem to have walked into uh, trouble actually, because there's quite a few ghouls in that direction. Luckily, Bork should be able to easily handle all of that. Probably best the Brahmin aren't in the middle of this, though. Up on the rock here. Now, there were just lasers crisscrossing this part of the world. Where were they coming from? And who were they aimed at? Because I don't see anything that would be... Yeah, there we go. Like, one, right there. What was that? Who's firing those lasers, and who at? Hmm. This, this I don't like. I'm getting nervous here. What am I walking into? Ah, there we go. That'll be Dagger Point itself, dead ahead. Exactly where the quest mark is saying it should be. More iBots. But, I don't see a huge amount guarding the place, to be honest. As for the flag, that is, well, New California Republic or possibly the old Californian flag too. Hello there. I don't trust the fact that you are keeping an eye on us. All right. Seems peaceful so far. Any sign of trouble around the corner? And can I actually crack open the gates myself or do I need to wait for the NCR to show up to do that? I'm guessing there's going to be some form of, uh, you know, quest trigger for the gates opening. So, locked up for now. Here's Fort Dagger Point. Now, I do have the key, don't I? Because, oh, no, that's my team. It's just they decided to come a stupid way. I've got the key, and Nye gave it to me before just, like, you know, deciding she was just going to sit in a bar forever. And hello... I can just get over the wall right there, spot on. Though, this building seems to be trying to draw attention to itself. Is this where I actually enter the key card by any flipping chance? No, no, they just felt like adding some fun colours over here. That's fine, it makes the game nice and colourful, I suppose. Right, let's just, uh, yeah, work our way up here. Maybe we need to open up the gates from the inside. Well... No sign of super mutants yet. 
Big ass artillery guns. Can't do anything with them, sadly. Enclave continuing to just scout the place out. Prepared to stop. Ooh, that's a nice creepy sight. That takes on a double meaning as you walk into a bloody great Doom Arena. So, what's the flag? What flag is that? It's, ah, Raider flag, but at half mast. Okay. This is all a little, little bit on the creepy side, but does feel like, you know, everything's under control. There's a terminal. That might be where I enter the key that Anai gave me. Continue scouting ahead. Best we do this without the NCR. And uh, dagger point security terminal password. Well, that was remarkably easy. Bloody and I didn't need to give me anything. Apparently, it was just sitting right here next to the bloody terminal. Ah, slight issue. This is all broken. Okay. Right. Possibly I'm not allowed to interact with this till the NCR are here. All right, lads. Feels like there's nothing Smooth. too dangerous in the way yet. Let's nip back to the NCR and start bringing them up. All right, Jameson, let's flip and head in. Sure enough. Let's go. All right, so we're actually on the way in now. And he's... Oh, okay. There was just a scorpion that snuck up behind us. That's fine. And now, yeah, we've got even more flipping firepower. So that's fine. And they're heading in at speed. And okay. What are you attacking, by the way? Ah, they're attacking the iBots by default. Of course, the NCR register the Enclave as a threat, fundamentally. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, in fact. And honestly, they could have totally blasted their way through this by themselves. They didn't even need me. That small swarm of ghouls would have posed no trouble whatsoever to, what's that, five guys with service rifles. Ah, oh, damn it. Those bodies must be from the scout Silverman sent last week. Yeah, what's left of the poor bastards? Still think we're alone out here, Captain? There! Movement! I see raiders up on the tower. Go to cover and take them out. We'll run to the fort. Move! Raiders on the tower. Are you... Are you sure? Are you 100% sure you mean on the tower? I'm not sure they're on the tower. I think they're on the ground, actually. I mean, there's one over there inside that little... Oh, you picked a good time to move. Yeah, I see one over there. She's dead now. There's a few more dotted around, but... Yeah, this won't be difficult, especially with Bort providing support. Just let me and mine push ahead. Yeah, the enemies actually spawned in more enemies that weren't here before anyway. You just go down nice and easy. Turn off armor piercing if I don't need it. All right, job done for now. Right, you guys inside if you can find a way in. Ah, that's where they had to go the long way around. They couldn't find a way past the police cars. And it turns out everyone's very happy to just head up this here rubble. Spot on. Saves me the trouble of trying to get the gate open. I like this area, by the way. This area is super creepy and ominous. And you're just wondering when it's going to go horribly wrong. All right. Everyone makes it inside. And Jameson, any chance you're going to give me authorization to fix this? Agent, do it. Am I the agent? Am I? Is that who I am? Right? Where do you want me to actually shove the... Where am I supposed to shove the key? Enter for dagger points. Um, okay. I mean, I've got a key. And, oh, I literally just use it on the wall. Okay, then. I'm not sure where I inserted that, but whatever. Oh, okay, what's inside? Ooh, a loading zone. There's a loading zone behind Right, we're flipping going in and bloody hell, this is a lot of NPCs going in together, gotcha. And as it turns out, oh, it's dark in here. Hello, Jameson. Hey, Agent, why didn't you take up on point? Silverman put the route in your wrist thing, didn't he? Just follow the map markers. Firing weapon. And we've got ourselves a handful of robots. Okay, nothing too major and oh. You guys are on our side, right? Because I can't deny that giant Gatling turret is pretty damn badass. Oi, excuse me. Naff off. Ah, possibly I can get these guys on my side. Yeah, turret control. I like being a nerd. There we go. Turrets now online. 
And hopefully online in the sense of they don't think we're the enemy, they just think, you know, the robots are the enemy. That'd be flipping spot on. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that is enough for now. We have made it into Fort Daggerpoint. It is dark, it is a bit spooky, and ooh! Everybody do the stealth dance, every- <laughs> Oh, good. That's probably been happening the whole time, but for some reason it just amuses me at this point because now there's a bunch of soldiers floating around. Apart from Alpha, Alpha does not do the stealth dance because Alpha is just too damn badass for that business. Right, we'll leave things off there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next week, we will explore the dark ruins of Fort Daggerpoint. And, uh, yeah, I'm very suspicious that we're running into uh, Super Mutants, Enclave, or both because... Uh, Based on what's come out of this place, super mutants make sense. Based on the number of iBots nearby, the Enclave makes sense. So it's one or the other, or maybe a bit of both. Could well be Enclave, of course, doing experiments into FEV, creating super mutants, trying to do it for military purposes, and it's all gone horribly wrong, because trying to do anything for military purposes in the Fallout universe inevitably goes horribly wrong and just creates monsters. You'd think they'd have learned by now. Anyway, we'll get on with that next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. It's been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout New California. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! Die! Go! Go away! Go away, nobody likes you! That was a good idea till it wasn't.